Hi guys, I'm Victoria Martin Te and I'm the founder of Boom, which is a functional fitness brand and a local boutique fitness studio. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about how to avoid burnout, which I'm sure all of us have experienced at some point in our lives. I have two very, very practical tips and you've definitely heard them before, so it's not rocket science. First one is about prioritization and organization. So it's important for us to look at our lives as a whole, decide on what's important to you, what's maybe less important to you, and what's not so important. If everything is considered important, then nothing truly is. It's funny that it's coming from me because you can ask my husband. I am a perfectionist and it's so irritating, which is why I needed to take a step back and prioritize my life because I realized that all these little things I'm stressing about, that's gonna drive me to an early grave. I might leave my poor husband, Brian, a young widower when you know we could lead healthy, happy lives, long lives together. With that prioritization comes organization. I'm gonna quote my uh, good friend, Oprah, because she said, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. But she also did say, you can have it all, but just not all at once. This is where organization comes in. So once you have prioritized all the things in your life, be it big or small, you have to organize yourself and get this in an organized manner. It will require you to map your entire life out, the big things, the small things. And once you've done that, you allow yourself to step back and be a third party observer in your own life. Once you see your priorities and the way you've organized your life, then you can see if those align or not. If you need to reshuffle, it could be as simple as my Monday is slammed, I need to move things to the rest of the week just to maintain my sanity. Or it could be all the things I think are important, I'm spending so little time on, that's when it really is such a kind of slap in the face when you see that your life is organized upside down when it should be the right side up. And the second really important point I wanted to talk about, self-care. If we are not in our best frame of mind, if we're not in our best physical self, everything that we've worked so hard for is all for nothing. And if you see that self-care doesn't have a place in your current schedule, you have to make a point, make an effort to put it in. It could be something small like reading a book at your own time, getting a mani-pedi, working out, it could be anything that makes you happy. You have to pencil that in because sometimes if we don't, it's just never going to happen. And before you know it, you're in this downward spiral and you're on the verge of a mental breakdown. So that's my plea to you to take care of yourself because that's the most important thing. Bottom line is guys, we all just want to lead healthy and happy lives. And in order to do that, it takes some effort, but that effort is worthwhile because the investment that you put in gives you lots of tangible and intangible um, benefits. And at the end of the day, you're happy. So here's to happiness. Thanks for joining us for today's Bureau Academy. You may follow me on Instagram if you want to know a little bit more about me or even share your thoughts on how you keep sane and happy. My Instagram is Vickums, and if you want to come work out with me at Boom, you can visit our website at www.boomsingapore.com or follow us on Instagram at Boom Singapore. I promise I will whip your butt into shape and you'll leave happier than when you came in.